Every little thing matters. Uh, that uh, it can, there can be ten guys doing the right thing. One guy's not doing the right thing, then you know, play is going to be ruined. And that kind of thing. And uh, one thing I did, one positive I took away from those is that we're always going to fight. I remember ECU game. Um, I mean, it, it looked like the odds were stacked against us, and everybody on the offense still saying, "We're going to win this game. We're going to win this game. We're going to be all right." And I can say the same for the defense. So, uh, you know, I just like how this team fights, and I know that if we keep chipping away. Or to keep doing good things. So here we go. First and goal. They give it to Rogers. Rogers fighting for the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. Hokies. And Sam Rogers just pulls his way not to be denied. Get it right. Back in it. Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, I don't put uh, a ton of thought into what the media is going to think of us or any of that stuff because, you know, as well as I do, if you win, everybody thinks you're world beaters, and if you lose, you're the worst team ever. So uh, it's always somewhere in between. So I just try to just stay level-headed and just realize what really matters to the people in this locker room. Eight and a half to play, clock turns. Rogers in motion, slot right to slot left. Joins Cam Phillips and Isaiah Ford on that side. High shotgun snap, pulled in by Motley. He'll rush it on the quarterback, keep right up the middle. Nobody there. Touchdown, Hokies back in. And obviously, he's just taking off, and his confidence is getting getting better and better. So, I mean, and our confidence in him is sky high. So, I mean, we've done a little bit of different things just with uh, Motley, like running the ball and things like that. But um, when Brewer gets back in there, for the most part, we, we've done like the same offense. And even when Brewer was a starter, Motley still had that running package that he does now. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to be too much of an adjustment. Uh, he's just been a great leader. Um, and that's hard to do when you get through something like that. It's hard to keep leading, hard to keep encouraging guys when you go down and you have an injury. Um, I've actually been in that situation in high school where you have to sit there and watch your teammates play, and that's tough. And he's been a really good leader for us and just staying in there, a great teammate. Uh, I mean, you can't say enough good things about him. And you can't say enough good things about Motley, just the situation he came in and doing really, really well. So, I mean, we got two great quarterbacks and two great leaders. So we're all blessed to have him. Practice format um, is pretty much the same. I mean, there might be tweaks here and there, but that's not based on whether you win or lose the game. Uh, it's just sticking to what they've done here for a while and just practice the way we know how. And uh, at the end of the day, we just got to keep playing and keep going, and that's the biggest thing. And not get too high when you win and not get too low when you lose. It's always somewhere in the middle. Um, and that's what Coach Leffler always tells us. Uh, the game's decided with five, five different plays, and we either make them or we don't. I'm giving you a little love, Kelvin. You're acting like you're dead tired, man. He's killing it. You follow me? I mean, whenever you have guys like uh, Kendall and Brewer go down, two really big leaders, and especially on opposite sides of the ball, they're the guys that, that we need in the game. Um, but it's hard. It's hard to go down. Just even from, I talked about this earlier, but just from a friend's standpoint, I mean, it's hard to see these two of our friends that are going down and can't play. So, I mean, it's just hard to see. And Kendall's definitely a great leader for the defense. So, yeah, it's definitely hard, but there's guys that are going to step up, and that's what always happens in football. Guys get an opportunity to step up and show what they can do. So. And we gotta finish, man. 
We let too many games get past us, man. All the Russian yards, we can't let them get none of that now. You know what I mean? Hey, keep out the intensity, keep out the energy, man. Let's finish, man. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. I mean, we honestly we showed that a lot that we can come back after being down. Um, we showed that in East Carolina, we showed that at Ohio State, really. We showed that, obviously, NC State. Um, but, I mean, that's big for us. Just getting, it's just so much uh, more of a relief when you finally just get that, get back on the winning track. So, uh, I think it was just, it's so much, it's so easy to say, but it's so much better winning than it is losing. I mean, it's just so, so much better around here. Everybody's moods are better. I mean, uh, it was good for us. And the way we fought and the way we did it, it was, it was nice.